I was hoping I was popping this crack in this day about to react to this vid by All Access Media. Apparently, Nicki Minaj is going off on Jay-Z again, and she's going off on Diddy and Steve Stout. I don't know who that is. And Lotto gets some woman fired. All right. <laughs> Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Well, guys, Nicki Minaj is on a Twitter rant. She's dragging oh, Jay-Z, Diddy, and Steve Stout. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Who is the CEO of United Masters? Is this album? Now, he had something to say up. after Nicki Minaj basically called out Jay-Z for not letting Lil Wayne perform at the Super Bowl that is in Please New Orleans. Nicki Minaj tweeted and said, oh, denying yeah. a young black man... Yeah, will we you remember. I reacted to it. Was, yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. went off on Jay-Z. And Steve Stout had something to say about that. And here's what he had to say about Nicki Minaj. I think in that case, what Nicki did was wrong. To bring up Title, his streaming company, that he gave you equity in. Oh, I didn't know that. That you, you know, didn't sign the paperwork. And that's the reason why you left millions of dollars on the table. That man didn't do nothing to you. Mm. To be talking about somebody who's putting whether it be Kendrick or Wayne or Drake mm. or Usher, he's putting them on the biggest stage. That's what we should be applauding. That's growth. But the crabs in the barrel thing, oh, not him, him, da-da-da-da-da. We can't do that. That's black-on-black black crime. I don't like that. No. And maybe that's yeah, what it is. I think that. Nikki's that's great. Nice. I'm... Great, black black great black. artist. What? <laughs> Very successful career. Don't do that. Just like, let's not do, do that in private. This, this social media thing, when you start shooting at people like that. I agree. She needs to stop. Like, and not Jesus. like a jab. Well, and you're Nicki Minaj. This just this boggles my fucking mind when these A-list celebrities do this. It boggles my mind. It's one thing to be online and interacting with the barbs, interacting with your fans and engaging. That's totally different. But you are online ranting and raving. It's just, <laughs> it's just so juvenile. And it just seems like this is so beneath you. Like, girl, get off this goddamn app. Go do something. You need to be working on this album that was already supposed to drop already. Like, girl. So her, Cardi B, all them who do this, I'm just like, ah. Uh, the Minaj tweeted that I received a call advising who title of song, and they made no money. What she said? Oh, nigga, <laughs> like, and not like a jab. Well, nigga, Minaj tweeted and said I received a call advising title was sold, and they made no money on the deal. So all they could offer me was a million dollars. But wait, there's more. The lawyer advised that Desiree advised him I had to sign the agreement in 24 hours if I wanted the 100 million, I guess, or no, the offer was off the mail. table. Listen to the end of fractions for what my response was. So a Twitter user reposted this post from the Shade Room on their Twitter and it says all 16 co-owners of Title reportedly received 8.9 million payout for following Jay-Z's recent deal, Beyonce, Kanye West, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, and more included. Nicki Minaj responded to this and said, LOL, word, one of the blogs that they reportedly have lots of control of. Why is my photo there? Oh, reportedly, huh? LOL, y'all, I'm really laughing at how people aren't really, who aren't really smart always believe they are outsmarting smart people. No, it's just that we know karma spins. It really spins. Good she then says, every day a new man pushing 60 years of age gets fingered in the you-know-what. What are you? Made to come on this she must be stopped. <laughs> what What is wrong with this lady? It's just something isn't... Mm, something, something's not right. Her elevator, mm, it don't it don't quite go all the way up. It goes up a couple floors, but it comes <laughs> it comes right back down. Okay, something is not right with her mentally. That's just my assessment. Because girl, what is this? What are we supposed to do with this information as well? How does this help anything? Fix anything? How are, are we? You want us to take action? What do you want? What are you expecting to accomplish with with these tweets? And what are you talking about exactly? What 60-year-old man getting fingered in the bussy? 
Like, girl, this shit that she refers to that's going on behind the scenes, she speaks and, like, she tells us stuff, but she doesn't really give us all the information so that we have a clear understanding of what's happening. Because I'm, I'm sure other people who are in the industry, they probably can put the pieces together, but I have no industry knowledge. I, I don't know anything about these big wigs in the industry and how this shit works. I don't know about the industry politics. So you, you have to be very clear in, in, in stating what the fuck is going on if you're going to spill some tea. So I hate this this this... This watered down tea that she spills. It's like, girl, what are you even talking about? It just seems like you're going on this, this, uh, this, these, these rants, and it just seem like they're unhinged rants, you know? Cause what? The maid to come on this internet and lie on me. Who are you talking about exactly? And what incentive do they have to lie on you? Like, I don't. Karma spins. It really spins. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Like, what is happening exactly? <laughs> like, they lying on her? <laughs> How? She then says every day a new she man get that, that 60 money? years of age, gets fingered. In. Like, okay, you didn't get the money that they're claiming that you got. All right, now what? Where did you go from here? You know what? Then made to come on this internet and lie on me. God is in control. Bookmark this. And like, I, why are they lying exactly? How are they benefiting from lying? Advise y'all to never mention my name again. And then another Twitter user said, you see how these people lie? Less than a week ago, Cameron and Mace told us that Jay-Z was lying about them not signing paperwork. Then yesterday, Jay sent his mouthpiece, Steve Stout, to claim Nicki didn't sign the paperwork. Come on, man. So Nicki Minaj responded and said, first time hearing about this, all allegedly, though. She then says, they got to keep the conversation on me so that no one asks about these charges against their BFF. And you know who that is, a.k.a. Diddy. She then says, I mean, it seems the 30-year-old T here is far from stale. Patterns, yet sass, ugly, alien, stout, D-breath, etc. Talking about Onika. Why are they talking about Onika? So then next thing you know, a barb said they wanted brunch and baby oil. Nikki responded and said, worried about the T of a 15-year-old child who was railroaded. But no comments on the tea and baby oil that's been going on for decades and as recent as months ago. If 15-year-olds need to be held accountable and told they can't ever move from past, yes, move past their me. past, then what about the 30-year-olds who groomed and groomed and sat by and was silent, etc.? All right, let's keep the blogs focused on Onika short and stout. D, don't want to talk about him, friend him, L-M-F-A-O. She then says, undercover men are always aggravated with women because they have decided that they can't live in their truth. They're Who is he with, undercover with? <laughs> what? Who have done nothing wrong to them are made to pay for simply existing. Fix it, Jesus. Enough is enough. So anyways, oh, Nicki Minaj more. continues and says, Dear Chardon Stout, D-I-K, Laffy Taffy Alien, D-I-K, Briff Sass, I think it says Sass, she then says, we want to know if you were present during a word of teenagers and children. That's what we want to know. You can't taste my P word. Stop. Aaliyah, Foxy, etc. doing R. Kelly video shoots and stuff. Did you know about the A word? Wait, what? See, because mm, people are saying that Foxy Brown has come out and said that nothing ever happened with her. But I mean, she could be lying. Uh, but this is crazy. A person of her status to be saying these things is, is kind of wild. Word to Kim Porter and Cassie. Y'all seem to always run in a sort of rat pack. So that's what we people want you and your peeps to speak on. Ugly, ball-headed, bowling ball, B word. You ninjas don't have this energy for gangsters in person, only for bees on the internet. She then says, if any of those four, you know what I name, would like to shoot the fair one with a gangster, I'll run the winner of the fight $10 million until then. Watch that karma spin. 25 men spoke out, but these clowns only talking about me every single day. That's how I know I win. Now, someone then says, I agree. Like, why am I expected to care about something that happened when I was one year old? Let's address what's happening right now, as in today. And Nicki Minaj responded and said, bing effing go. I was expected to answer for something that happened or didn't happen when I was 10 years old, when I was minding my business in school. What? Well, we want to know what y'all was doing at 30 years old to 60 year olds. So Nicki Minaj responded to this post that said, Nicki Minaj has now surpassed Jay-Z to become the sixth longest charting rapper of all time on Billboard. 
Her music has charted for 1,945 weeks across the Hot 100 Billboard and Billboard 200. And she told Jay-Z to move, okay? But you guys let me know what you think about Nicki Minaj ran on Diddy, Jay-Z, and Steve Stout. Let me know down in the comment section below. Moving on to the next topic, you guys know Lotto has a challenge out right now called the Brokey Challenge. And people at their 9 to fives are supposed to make videos to Lotto's song Brokey because a lot of people felt like she was talking down on working people when she said that, you know, you broke and you can only afford to go out of town when it's your birthday. So she decided to do a $10,000 challenge and whoever wins gets $10,000 and they also get to come to her music video and get to be in the music video. So there has been a lot of people with different jobs doing these videos. Well, one worker at the oh, Waffle so House revealed fired. that she got fired That's after her video. What the hell? You know you ain't supposed to be recording in there. That is not a lot of fault. <laughs> I mean, everybody know Waffle House is ghetto. Are we surprised? It's taking place. But I just got fired because of that video. You better not blame nobody for trusting. Big Lotto's challenge. Yay! I'm glad I put six years in a company that would fire me. And literally, six years? Why were you there that long? A day, a day, a day of posting one video, one video that harms nobody. That everybody was. That's crazy. That just goes to show these businesses they don't fuck about you at all. Before and happy about whatever. Smart move, you know? And then they put me on it's called like an EFR list or something. Basically I can never get rehired again. They they will never rehire me again. K K K thanks. Sixteen to twenty two. Thanks. All the bullshit I do is thanks. 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 A lot of people in the comment section feel like sis shouldn't have got fired of anything. She gave Waffle House a good commercial. Now, after this, they went viral all over social media. I wonder what Waffle House is going to say about this. Is she going to get her job back or a promotion? I wonder what's going to happen since she lost her job for doing a challenge. I mean, I feel like it's messed up that she lost her job. Maybe they could have said something about it. But firing her, I mean, that's a little excessive, I believe. Like, y'all could have gave her a warning of anything. I mean, that is unprofessional. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. That is unprofessional. Yeah, these companies, they, they don't care about you at all, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but, okay, I see why she was there that long. She started when she was 16. That makes more sense. Um, but, yeah, girl, maybe that's the sign from the universe that you deserve better. Get, get you another job, girl. Um, as far as Nicki Minaj, hmm. <laughs> the, the longer the rant went on, okay, the pieces started to come together. It, it was very direct, what she was saying. <laughs> Initially, I was confused, but as she went and spilled more tea, we, we did get the, the full story. But it's just it's just concerning the way that she goes about these rants. It's just odd. It's bizarre because I just don't see, you know, um, celebrities of, of her status doing this. So it does look so unhinged because you are Nicki the Minaj. Like, if you really have an issue with these people, I would expect you to have enough power um to you know handle these things behind the scenes if you don't want people speaking on you i would expect you to handle that and that that would just be on some you know boss queen shit like now nah, i'm gonna move in silence and i'm gonna i'm gonna check you like you know off off camera or offline rather like i just don't understand why she's doing this publicly on twitter for us all to see it's just bizarre <laughs> and it just makes her seem crazy uh so whether she is or not this is how she comes across so yeah i hope she gets things figured out because she seems like she's going through it so i don't, I don't know when we'll get this album y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next time bye